Welcome to another demo video session with us. Today we are going to talk about the quick time processing feature that helped to improve your efficiency in completing time card entry and activities eliminating any extra manual interactions with the system. First in order to use the functionality you have go to the time card improvement module. In order to do that click on the more items button. Then select the time card improvement module under the screen. Once you selected that all the available functionalities will be visible to you. Then click on the quick time processing functionality which will open the screen for the today's interesting functionality. Quick time processing comes with a detailed version and a simple version where now you are looking at the detailed version. If you want to change this into the simple version you can go to the user screen and select the specific user. Then you can untick the detail time card operations and allow time card info checkbox. Then save the details. After that you can move back to your quick time processing screen and refresh the screen to apply the changes. Now you can see that the screen has only a limited number of fields and operations details are removed. Now let's again change the screen into the detailed version. Go back to users. Select the unchecked checkboxes accordingly. Then save the details. Go back to quick processing screen and refresh it. Now in the screen if you go to the operation code drop down you will be able to see multiple options to select. As an example, if you are going to enter time spent for a specific sales order you can select sales order as the operation code. Then you can select the sales order number as the document number. So whatever the activity that you are entering will be reflected in that specific sales order. Then you can select the project ID according to your requirement. Then you can select the project task under that selected project ID. If there is only one task available for the project it will be automatically picked by the system. Then if you want you can select the labor item but this is not mandatory. For now I will select crew labor as the labor item. And then you have to give a summary to recognize the given activity. Then go ahead and click on the clock in button. Then the screen will refresh and the item will be included to the activity details grid. Afterward if you have completed the activity you can click on the clock out button to stop the time calculations. Now navigate to the sales order screen and select the order that you selected in the time activity. Now you can click on the activities option in the top right corner of the screen to view the activities. As you can see the entry that we did through the quick time entry is now appeared in the sales order screen. Then you can click on the link to see more details. This will show you all the details regarding the entry including the time spent on the activity. Then you can click on the cancel button to close the pop-up window. Now other than the sales order we are going to select shipment as the operation code in quick processing screen. Then you can select the shipment number as the document number. Then select the project ID and the project task according to your requirement. Then you can give a summary as we did for sales order. Next as we did for the sales order activity you can click on the clock in button. After the activity is completed you can click on the clock out button. Now let's navigate to the shipment screen to see how this reflects in the screen activities. Then open the shipment that you have specified in the time activity screen. If you selected the activities function on the top right corner, 
you will be able to see the activity that we created through the QuickTime Activity screen. You can perform similar activities for variety of operations available in the drop-down not just for shipment and sales orders. This will help the user to reduce the number of screens that need to be accessed and number of operations need to be performed to achieve the same results. Additionally you will have the option to select different employees using the Employee ID field. Then if you go into the Week Detail by Activity tab you will be able to see all the activities performed within the week. If you need more details you can go to the Week Details tab which start in dates and times as well to make it easier to monitor the work that was completed. This is how you can utilize the QuickTime processing functionality to make your daily work much easier and efficient. Thank you for joining with our demo video session.